Hello, it's good to be back. Uh, this is lesson six and the song is Make You Feel My Love. I smile, I'll explain why in a minute. Um, Bob Dylan wrote it in uh, 1997. Uh, he, he played it in the key of D flat and I've written this in D because I think it's, it's a, bit, a bit easier to play. Um, the chords, let me do talk about the chords first and then I'll talk about the melody. Um, the chords, fairly straightforward, although there does seem to be a lot of them. Let me just find, find the music. Uh, you need a D, you need an A, okay? And then it goes to A minor. Great chord that, and simple to play. A G, and then it progresses to the G minor, okay? And then there's, there's a, an, an E7 kicking around, and there's an A7. I've also written it in the music, if you have a look at the music, there's an A7 with an added G note, but I would ignore that. You don't need that. And then at the end of the line, there's a D. So if I was playing the chords, let me show you, I would do this. D, two, three, four. A, two, three, four. A minor, two, three. And then to the G, two, three, four. D minor, it's four strokes on each, apart from here. Just, I'll show you in a minute. E7-2, 1-2, A7-2, and D-2, 3, 4. Now, you can, if you want, crab claw it, which I think is quite nice. So I'm doing first and fourth. Okay, so it goes. D, A, 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 A minor, G, G minor. There's the two A seven two and D two three four, but it's so it's basically four strokes on each apart from the fourth line. Okay. Oh, the middle. I nearly forgot the middle. Uh, there's an F sharp augmented. Good, isn't it? Eh? Um, an F sharp augmented. It's like a D minor. There's D minor, but you move it across to those strings. Okay. So it's if you look at the chords at the bottom, it's fairly straightforward, and you've got a bit of time to get there when you're playing it, but. When we come to the melody, ha <laughs> ha! Talk about lose the will to live. I'll have a quick slurp before I tell you. Now, the notes of the melody uh, are more or less fairly straightforward, but as some of you know, um, what Bob Dylan does is he changes the number of words in each of the verse. So I've had to tweak the melody a little bit. The tricky bit is the timing because it, what you do at the end of each line, you do a three, four, one before you start the next line. So on lines one, two, and three, you're doing a three, four, one. When you get to line four, you play the last note and then count two, three, four, one. Okay? Let me demonstrate it for you. I'll, I'll, I'll play the music and try and count it for you to get an idea. But it's it's good fun. You might lose the will to live. Here we go. Two, three, four, one. So have you got that? So on the last line of, of the four and line eight on, on the verses, uh, you've got a two, three, four, one count. Whereas on the, the ends of the lines, it's a three, four, one. OK, when you get to the middle, it's a, a wing and a prayer. Um, again, similar going on there with, with a slightly different count. So you'd have to listen to Bob Dylan sing. But I put the counting in there for you. Um, Line 11, I can't decide actually whether it's a 1-2 or a 1, but I'll, I'll, we'll go with the 1-2. But look, have a try. I mean, the melody itself is terrific and, and I like the song, uh, but it's proved to be much more fiddly uh, than, than I thought. But, but have a go and I hope you enjoy playing it because it is, as they say, quite challenging. OK, take care. Have, have a go and I'll talk to you at the end of this. OK, bye for now.